Oftentimes, the introduction of automation within a manufacturing setting is unfortunately viewed as a replacement for manual labor. And while this notion certainly does hold true for many applications of automation, here at Crescent, we instead view automation as an enhancement of the manufacturing process. This allows us to leverage this technology within repetitive and oftentimes dangerous tasks, while simultaneously leveraging the immense value that human labor can provide. One of the best examples here at Crescent of automation improving the manufacturing process while still leveraging the use of human labor is one of our in vitro diagnostic tray work cells. Prior to the use of automation within this work cell, parts were simply ejected from the mold and dropped onto a conveyor belt along with the runner, which often led to scratches and higher reject rates across the board. With automation, we are now able to leverage end of arm tooling, which allows a robot to safely reach into the mold and pick the part, separate separate and discard the runner before consistently orienting the part on a conveyor belt where it can then move on to the next step of the manufacturing process. Additionally, an operator inspecting the parts and deciding what is a good or bad part led to higher reject rates due to the fact that two individuals may identify a good or bad part slightly differently even if examples are given. To solve this issue and further reduce the reject rates, we implemented a high resolution camera which takes a high resolution photo of each parts and is able to instantly decide if it is good or bad. From there, the part will either continue down the line or will be immediately discarded and recycled if it is rejected by our quality systems. As I mentioned earlier, the addition of end of arm tooling within this process allows us to automatically orient each part from the beginning of the manufacturing process, which means that we can now stack parts to the desired number with a consistent orientation. So at this point in the process, we have produced the injection molded part, picked it from the molding machine and separated the runner and automatically inspected and stack these parts to prepare them for packaging. Now, at this stage, we are able to leverage manual labor and have an operator carefully package these stacks, apply labels, and ensure that they are ready to be shipped to customers around the world. The implementation of these automated processes allows us to meet higher quality standards with more consistency and increase throughput due to lower reject rates, all while containing costs and in some cases reducing cost, depending on the automated application. And perhaps most importantly, we are still able to maintain the human element who can ensure that everything is running smoothly and that the final product is ready to be shipped exactly as desired to the end customer. This is just one of the many ways that we use automation thanks to our in-house automation lab who continues to find new ways of implementing this rapidly changing technology. Be sure to get more information on our website and keep an eye out for more videos just like this one highlighting the various automated applications that we are leveraging here at Crescent Industries. Industries.